Alrighty, hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be getting a lot of the exteriors done. Hopefully we might even get close to finishing them. And we might do a little bit of work on the interiors and we've got thrusters that we're going to be doing today. And right now I am in the call with Mutant Potato. Do you want to say hi? Hello. And Sprocko may or may not be joining us. I'd put money on him being asleep still, but yeah. So, um, Potato, do you want to start off by, you know, finishing the uh, front little piece you've been working on? Sure. Yeah. Uh, working on trying to get into the group now. It's uh, not loading in for me. All right. Should we do the classic uh, F5, like go to the test mode? Sure. All right. And so for anyone wondering, um, you're going to notice... And I guess for the astute observer, you're going to notice we've got a new uh, triangular area here. So that's what Potato worked on last time after we finished up stream. And it's quite close to done and it looks really good. So that's one large part of the ship done. And we were also messing around with thrusters right here. Not sure what it's going to amount to because... I mean, I will be honest, these thrusters are a little wonky. <laughs> like, there's the one thruster that's 12 centimeters apart versus 24. But we're going to have to see what to do with these thrusters, because these are going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, so like, this back half is really coming together. And then, hopefully, we'll have it on either side by the end of today. And, yeah, a roof over the top, if Sprocko wakes up. <laughs> Are you having any luck? Uh, not yet, but oh, uh, trying again, so we'll see what right. it does here. Ah, uh, yes, the troubles of getting into Starbase ship editors. Oh, and let's see, it's a unhandled exception error this time. Ooh, full crash. Let me see if the game actually crashes. Yep, there, it crashed. Okay. Jeez. Nebulon out here crashing games left and right. And here, I'm going to move us to the back of the ship so I can show you guys what I'm going to be working on first today. So... Uh, I'm not sure actually if we talked about this on stream a lot, but so we've got those plasma thrusters back there. You know, those are hooked up. Those are always going to be there. But so we added in some triangle thrusters and hopefully, hopefully those will add on enough thrust so we can reach our end goal when the ship is totally plated of about 100 meters a second. And plus it'll give us some extra turning speed and a boost to um, survivability. So if... You know, other thrusters get shot out. We probably won't completely die, hopefully. And while I'm doing this, I am going to be turning up the OBS priority. Where is it? There it is, OBS. Unless that's not it. Okay, here we go, OBS. I keep turning it up so that it gets a little bit more priority in our computer. This way we get a little bit better. There we go. This way we'll get a little bit extra kick out of this and make sure our stream is not super laggy. All right. And I think Mi6 is, yeah. Mi6 is doing its classic thing. Yep, crashing again. Mm. Uh, so apparently in uh, test mode, it just crashes for me. Okay, we could try it where you and I both enter in an empty group session, and then um, I sure. then load the ship. 
Yeah, we can try that. That should should work. Man, it takes forever to save her load, though. It's so funny. We've got, like, an insanely large <gasps> amount of stuff. Yep. What's the, uh... Di didn't I see in the notes they they added a weight to the, uh... The... I th uh, ship status? We'll have to check, but I was seeing that they did add a, um... A weight thing to when you click. All right, start in the group editor. Um, when you click on a plate, there's actually it displays the weight of the specific plate. All right, I am in. Oh. So try joining. All right, joining now. All right, I see your cube. All right, let's load up the neb. Let's hope hope it doesn't implode. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's loaded for me. And hey, Mike, I am back. Oh, Mo, don't tell me you got COVID. Hey, welcome, Nathan. On time. That's what we like to see. Still showing nothing, but, uh... Alright. Ah, there it goes. Hey, okay. Cool. Alright, yeah, so for anyone joining us, uh, Potato made a lot of progress last time after stream on this little section here. It's not little whatsoever, but... Lots of great progress, and... If Sprocko wakes up, we're looking at a pretty good progress today. And yeah, that's not good, Mo. <laughs> Ooh. So hope you get better soon, because that sucks. We'll put that there. We'll put this one like here. stuck inside for two weeks Oof. and yeah so these are new thrusters on this on the back so um, I'm pretty sure we had them in last stream and the stream before that but didn't really show them off I think but so we have a new supplement of tr um, triangle thrusters and these are here for two reasons one we can get uh, hopefully 100 meters a second once the ship is entirely plated and two the um, survivability but oh you're talking about these yes yes so these ones are new this was also done off stream we were kind of just messing around trying to see what would work so there's a little area right here you can kind of see it with this triangle plate right there so this triangle plate originally went all the way to here and then there was a wall right there so this was kind of just an empty triangular area now we were thinking we could put a tripod there but also if we do this, we get extra thrust. So we get extra turning thrust in a really good spot. And we also add in some braking thrust, which for a ship of this size, I mean, it's, it's gonna be kind of necessary. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's the new thrusters. And we're gonna see how it works. Hopefully it'll work well. Um, not entirely sure yet, so we'll see. Hopefully it works, because that oh, that's a lot of work. Eating oatmeal is even worse now. Ugh. Yeah, that's disgusting. I didn't even like oatmeal in the first place, so... Ugh. Right, here we are. Oh, and um, for anyone who has been living uh, the normal life, you'll see we no longer have a warp class. 
it's actually a ship strength factor now. And, you know, I'm, I'm just saying I did prefer, I did prefer warp class. But so now instead of going by the past metric, this strength factor goes by the lowest bolt, which it wasn't, it didn't used to be the lowest bolt. So that's why our strength factor is 0 0.015. <laughs> Imagine that only being able to go like 0 0.015, actually be 1.5% of full speed, but nonetheless. Um, now I need to find where to plug these in. That is the only thing. I think we could do something like this. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh. This could actually work. Hmm. That, yeah, that actually works. We'll definitely use that, hold on. So you tried to buy a ship and it kept refunding you when you tried to buy the ship? Um, so I wish I could help out a little bit more, but since I don't really buy my own shit, like I don't buy ships, um, I can't really help out much. That sounds like a bug to me. So, because if, well, actually, hold up. Do you have both, um the money and the ores to build the ship because if you have both the money and the ores then it's a bug but if you don't then it's probably one of those things if you're uh, uh, selecting to use uh, items from your inventory and you have items that you pulled off of a laborer um, you know, one of the free laborers, um, uh, it won't let you use those. Uh, uh, so it'll error out. So deselect the, uh, the, the items and, and try again afterwards. And that too. I'm going to hit the ship with a weld all, so just a heads up. No problem. Uh, it's kicked me out again, so, um, huh. yeah, All uh, right. so yeah, we're just, I'm just trying to get back in. No worries. All right. I can, uh, do the clean slate thing again if we need to. So hope hopefully you can get back in, but yeah, with the ship becoming yeah. so big. <clears throat> yeah. I've noticed a bunch of weird, uh, uh, weird bugs since the the last patch. So, uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I think there's been an increase in bugs. I've seen a good number of issues. Yeah, uh, currently you can't take ore out of your ship uh, uh, manually. Um, mm -hmm. If you drag it out and, and click and place it, it just disappears. Uh, but the, the slot in the ship remains taken. Yep. Uh, it's very annoying. Man, like it is alpha, but oh, it hurts. Let's see, how can I get... trying to think of how we can get like oh me six did it again all right we're gonna delete my thing then you know oh i shake my fist at me six it's useful but it's late what we can do is we could hook up to power and propellant from down there that's probably our best bet Oh, you have both, so it's definitely a bug. Yeah. Man. Ah, there, there's a couple couple issues. What's the food with the best texture? Well, I guess that... Hmm. Hey, Ranger, welcome. 
How are you doing today? The best texture. I mean, maybe like gelatin? I don't know. That's not bad. And hey, thanks, Hestian. More, more Nebulon for you, yes. More Nebulon. Hopefully, you know, we're going to be doing a lot. Oh, it is September, yeah. I completely forgot about that. I saw a thing about that and I was like, oh, huh, whack. But, yeah. Um, I was thinking something and then my brain died. Um, oh, yeah, Sparocco waking up. <laughs> or <laughs> it, it, It's Sunday morning syndrome. Well, it's actually Monday morning for him. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So, like, you know, I, I don't mean to, you know, be like, you know, there are, the stakes are a little bit higher, but the stakes are a little bit higher. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I like that gap. Are you working with the thrusters on the side? No, I was just watching the stream. Uh, yeah. The, yeah, the gap back here is... Maybe it'll weld. Let's see. Let's find out. Yeah. Today on Will It Weld? The answer will not surprise you. Holy shit, Ranger. Why do you do this? My god. Thank you. Holy shit. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Happy September. Ah. I need to figure out how to re like respond to these things. Because... I just kind of like, whoa. Holy shit. Yes, a sub, yes. It's almost like there's a bunch of subs. One after another. There we go. Let's see if this will combine the weld. Jeez. Ah, oh, yes, and welcome to school. Yeah, it's been a it's been a second. All right, neither of these are connecting. That's going to be interesting. All right. Oh no. Oh no. So I messed with my graphics settings and tried to enter again, and this time it crashed. Ah. Uh, so it keeps crashing. Uh the one time I got in, it wouldn't let me do anything. So, oh, uh, hmm. it's just being—it's being very stubborn. Oh boy. Yeah, I think the new update may have resulted in some uh, crashes or some you. some new bugs. Uh, I'm pretty sure my whole ship should have died last night when a pirate attacked me because I'm uh, missing a fuel tank and uh, it was right in the middle of all of my other fuel tanks and uh, uh, I don't know what happened to it but it didn't seem to explode <laughs> so I mean hey you know not exploding's good <laughs> yeah yeah I actually made it back to the safe zone so hey um Oh, thanks again. Uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, Ranger donated a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, you you were able to make it back. Yep, made it back, and uh, things uh, seem to have. Uh, I, I've been uh, repairing my hauler uh, that I've just been working on getting. Uh... Oh, geez, thank you, Potato. Why do you guys do me like this? There we go. 
fix that oh. problem. Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, you guys are too kind. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fun. I, I, I just went out on a, uh, on a mining trip and uh, a little ways out into the, uh, past the safe zone, I just start seeing blue things streak past me. I'm like, what is that? No. What is that? <laughs> Durability error. What? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, that was fun. Um, first time I've encountered a pirate, and there was there's one uh, bullet hole through the area that holds my main flight computer and and uh, oh. FCU, and it it hit my chair. Um, no. And I'm like, I, I shouldn't be alive. Damn. And thank you, Ranger, for the hundred bits, and then the the sixty nine bits. It's pretty nice. Nice. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird because like half the time, oh my god, guys, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love you guys so much. Holy shit. The hype. Oh! Snake Pog. Level 4 complete. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm broken, Sim is good. Okay. Uh, my god I... <laughs> level 5 yay we maxed it my god you maxed it nice job ranger 212% thank you so much holy shit <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have the junk food money. You guys are gonna make me fat. Like, <laughs> I, you know, the freshman 15 is usually from alcohol, but like, it's gonna be from you guys, even though I'm not a freshman anymore. <laughs> Jeez. I can't e You guys keep doing this while well, I have to try and make these beams work. I. I oh. <laughs> Hard to focus, huh? Um, Just a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, you could try jumping out. I'll I'll try oh, doing it again. Yeah. The fresh slate. Here, we'll save and exit. All right, I'm on my way. Cool. Jeez. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> the entirety of chat has been subbed now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys make my week every single week. I don't... Oh. Alright, you know, we, we gotta do a community event. Somehow, some way. We gotta do, like... We could do a free game, or maybe, like, a Jackbox game night, or... I don't know what to do. You know, alright? So, uh, me and my friends were doing the math, okay? You can have up to, I think it's a 10 or 20 gallon fish tank, all right? And I loaded in, by the way. However, okay, so we're, we're going to take that as a reference. You can't have more than 10 or 20 gallons in a rough fish tank sized area, okay? Now, inflatable pool, you know, okay. We we could do the, the, <laughs> the faded... Uh, <laughs> Hot tub stream. <laughs> Thanks, Mysterious, the 100 bits. And Potato again. Jeez. The entirety of chat is a subscription. There we go. Now, now it's complete. Oh my god, 232%. I'm glad I can make life easy and breezy for you guys. 
Yeah, <laughs> I I fall so you can. Or what is it? What's the phrase? Like you know, I crawl so everyone else can walk or something. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that all of those hours in closed alpha are able to help other people. Because, oh, this game is wild. Holy shit. I think I have more subscribers than, like, the average... <laughs> stream labs. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Also, it's loading in, so let me know when you're alive <laughs> yeah i can see it now imagine getting paid to get bullied <laughs> hey you know the roast is okay the roast is good i, I don't even know amaranth i know that's a that's a person but a streamer <laughs> yeah. i uh oh <laughs> yeah the hot tub stream <laughs> You travel back in time to support it. <laughs> I, uh, 30 subs and 270 bits. Shh. Holy crap. Thank you guys. Let, let's spam these, these new emotes. Let's... These new hot tub boys. The hot tub emotes. Yeah. Hype squawk. Wait, what's the dog one? Hold up. The emotes are being delivered. I can't scroll up enough. No, I can't see it. Don't cheat. Oh god. Potato, how's it? How's it? Um. It's loaded in. I can't do anything, but it's loaded okay. in. Okay. Yeah. Here, actually, let's try this. Yeah, try going to... Yeah. Yeah. Razu, you, you missed an insanely huge hype train. Like, literally, Ranger, Potato, and K-Swagalicious literally just broke me. Plus, alright, we got, you know, Mysterious out here with more donations and stuff. It was, what was it? 30... 30 subs and what was that like 270 bits holy shit <laughs> hopefully potato you load in it's... uh looks like it's working there it goes yeah it's working it's working all right good night mo thanks for being here i can see oh I can see you, yay! And yes, the cult grows. <laughs> the simulator haven. It's all a simulation. You know, I was thinking of making some merch, right? I mean, just for kicks, but like it'd have stuff, you know, like, um, just like our, our group kind of memes, like, you know, walking durability error, like, um, I'm trying to think of like funny phrases that we could have on a shirt or something or on like a mug. <laughs> like a ceramic mug that just is, all it has on it is warp class 0 0.01. <laughs> I feel, for me, I feel that's ironic because you know it's a mug that you can break, but. All right. You think we're ready to go back? Yeah, should be good. All right. All right, let's hope. Oh, I saw it deload. All right. Come on, come on. And yeah, we've had a hype train once or twice before. I remember there was one time where I was like, a hype train? And then it just fell through and then... Oh. Hey. hey. Yeah, that worked. Yay. Yay. Happy times. Don't worry, Razu. Hopefully there will be there well, there will probably be more in the future. Knowing how Ranger is essentially my um 
Sorry. Like, I I can't get sponsored at this point. It's just Ranger. Or we could, you know, I was I was joking. Like, imagine if I actually got um uh oh shoot uh oh oh we're good and i don't know if there's an october discount we'll have to see because it's september right now but um what was i saying i don't even remember hmm. that's that's fun <laughs> Alright, one there. This whole corner is just gonna be scuffed. Yeah. Like, I was looking at you guys putting those in, and I'm like, I, I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah, this whole corner, I mean, right from the beginning, I knew it was gonna be weird, but yeah. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to. Who knows? Um, yeah, and th I keep looking at that offset with the uh, uh, the engine. Sparko mm -hmm. said he didn't think it was going to be a problem, but um, I don't know, man. I really don't. We yeah. Have to rework that. I, yeah, I don't worry know. too much about it right now, though. I, yeah, I honestly, in the scheme of things, like we don't have to have that there, so it's not really worth worrying about at the moment. All right, I'm gonna work on this triangle. I think I got some supports to do, and then yeah, um, sealing it off it better, and then copying yeah. to the other side. It looks great, though. Gotta say, like, oof. It is stupidly stubborn. Um, oh. I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, I came into it thinking this would be simple, and it it turned mm. into the oh. the big yikes. Yeah. No, I love how with the ship, you're like, oh yeah, you know, we're using better angles, so it's going to be simple, right? Right? <laughs> right? Just right? like, <laughs> as you get, like, slowly more, just, oh. See, like, when it's done, it's going to be like, um, you know, when, like, a bridge is built or like a um, tunnel you know like it takes so much pain and suffering to build but then like once it's built like you just oh yeah that's really dope <laughs> yep, 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 sorry yep. one of the things I always think of is like when you go through a bridge or a tunnel you know think of how long it took to build it and then how fast you just went over it or through it oh. right yeah go there's our cable there's our pipe and yeah you don't know about it right now okay let me check ranger um hmm. okay let me try some stuff we'll see if i can get it to work better um all right so we're gonna do details all right what we're gonna do is i'm gonna turn all of the obs stuff up to its maximum like uh output essentially where is it more obs power? yeah more power set priority high set priority high change priority Ah, uh, yeah this might have been it All right, there we go. Let me know if that's any better. Um, and if it's not, then I could just see if I can get my actual PC here. We're gonna move around. Yeah. 
And the dome turret? Yeah. So the dome turrets are going to be able to go in a lot of nice spots. Here, we'll... Yeah, not really. Shit. Uh, encoding overloaded. Do do do. All right. And back. Video. Hmm. Okay. All right. What I could do. Let's let's try this settings. Uh, graphics. Yeah, let's turn this down to like 60. It was absolutely, I didn't realize these were all up. Oh god. Um, Alright guys, welcome to the Nebulon B build. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, that's we'll, interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a second. And yeah, batteries are... are Mm, batteries are something. And the the, uh, the guns constantly drain, so that could be it as well. Alright, let me know if this improved anything. And I... I really... I focused on the ship not because, like, it's easy to build. Not, not at all. But uh, the first time we built it, you know, it was kind of a meme ship. And then it turned into, wow, this is, like, actually kind of cool. And it, it worked well. And so I was like, you know what? Let, let's just continue it. Because it's a fun ship. And it's known like to me, I guess. Like, people kind of know this ship as mine. And it's it's like, oh, huh. Yeah, that's... It's a kind of not necessarily a trademark ship. But you know how it is. Yeah, we, we do it not because it's easy. But because it's really cool looking <laughs> yeah we do it because it's hard because like plus you know if you know a lot of my stuff like you know ever since i saw that one comment that re it really hit different the um uh bob ross comment like i feel like i just watched bob ross build a space a spaceship like you know it's always been my thing kind of in my head like you know to try and make it easier like for somebody who's coming in like you know they see me building this ridiculously hard ship but breaking being able to break it down into really small parts and tackle it one piece at a time i feel you know that that helps there was a <laughs> Speaking of the moon, there was a guy who was on campus uh, a couple days ago trying to convince people that the moon landings were faked. And I was like, bro, you're on a college campus. Like, uh, what a man. It, it, was, it was an interesting time. And we're going to have to... Yeah, okay. You were going to say something? Uh, just, uh, just people are crazy. Yeah, they are. You know, that's... Eh. I do be like that. There we go. That's hooked up. And one thing I always like to do, I guess this isn't necessarily a sim trick. It, I, it might be, but one thing I like to do if you're actually having to do cabling and piping is I prefer to do the cable first just because it's really small and you can put the piping like right next to it and it can kind of cover it up so like that way you're able to put down like the small thing first so you don't have to run it on top of the pipe because the pipe like yeah the pipe tool it looks that wide but in reality it's like super thick and nobody wants that also, now I can't delete that. Oh, it's because I locked all of these. That's something for me. Alright, there we go. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, I prefer to put the cable down first just because it is small. It, it works out nicely, and it, it'll save you a little bit of trouble later down the line. But, okay. Um, all of those thrusters should be hooked up now. So, let's try these 
these batteries. Let's do a sneaky. Let's try one plate per or one, one plate per battery, one bowl. That seems to be good. Alright. Anything to just keep these in. Because these have always been falling off when we start up the ship and running into things and breaking stuff off. Because I gotta say, I look forward to when we have this ship completed because I have a feeling it is going to be very similar to the first Nebulon where it's, you know, like this time it's actually going to have armor, but it had plot armor in the first one. Like, this one's purposefully built so that all of the areas around it, you know, are they don't blow up on purpose, not just because there's so much empty space, but if something blows up, it's self-contained. <laughs> Yeah, the, the throwback to the plot armor of the first nub. You know, Razu, you know, it was going great. It was going great. And then you said that. And the brain and the batteries connection just... Mm -mm. And uh, yes, these batteries are far enough apart. Uh, I think I actually blew them up... No, I was just messing around before that. But yes, I've blown these up, and they are far enough apart. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hey! Hey! It's Brocco. Good morning. Uh, on, good morning. On further inspection, my uh, alarm actually ran out of battery. Ah. <laughs> that would be it. You missed like a lot. Uh, I bet the, uh, the start of carry command is usually eventful. Well... Um, we haven't been doing carrier command. We were thinking of no. doing that after, because, you know, we ideally we want to have more than two people, but what we can do is you and I can start, and then we'll see who tags along. Okay. Because I'm when... game. Oh, okay. Dope. Yeah. What, what are you so, doing right now? I haven't even opened your stream yet. We are working on the Nebulon. Um, oh, right. But, all right. See you, Rezu. Thanks for being here. Um, you missed the, um, the massive hype train. Like, mm -hmm. they broke me. They find, well, okay, it's not too hard, but they really broke me this time. Yeah. Like, um, here, the, <laughs> let me scroll. Okay. The hype train completed at level five, 30 subs, and 270 bits. Ooh, wow. <sighs> so, am I jumping on Starbase then? Um, yes, Starbase for the moment. Okay. Uh, oh, what kind of progress? Oh, it's going to the morning for you. Um, oh, so, um, I hooked up all the triangle thrusters, the batteries, and, um, Potato has been working on that plating on the side. Nice. Yeah, and basically a level six hype train, which is insane. Okay, and, I, and I'm only well, I'm about an hour late, so yeah. Yeah, but it's not too bad. So we'll we'll go until um, we might either go for um, until our normal time with uh, Starbase, and then do Carrier Command after if you guys are down. So yep. keen. Yeah, because that that would be pretty pretty nice, and because he. A lot of people actually really liked Carrier Command, and I'm really happy about that. It's almost 10 p.m. Yeah. for you guys. Sheesh. Yeah, it's it's 4 p.m. for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just woke up naturally, and just mm -hmm. the alarm didn't go off. I mean, that's so, not too not, bad. It's not too bad. Yeah, like an hour late, that's... That's... Hey. For five, it's apparently five fifty a.m. for me. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no, Ranger. Oh God. <laughs> Ranger said, "Oh no, a non-sub." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another time. Another time. 
Ranger, um, oh man, where's the where's the uh, clip? I need I need like a stream deck or something. Did, I can make my own. Did, yeah. Did um, you clip the the hype stream? <laughs> uh, I did not, but since it's all recorded, we got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be checking it out later. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll prob I'll try and put a marker down in there. Very disappointed. But, I missed uh, it. Yeah. It, it was insane. This oh, is and why we cannot have nice things. Yeah. Exactly. This is why we can't have. Um, this is why we've got to have the hot tub stream. <laughs> <laughs> The um, inflatable pool in a dorm room. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> but um, I was also joking about making merch, like you know, just like kind of like um, you know, the community memes, and like quoting those, like um, you know, like having having on a mug or something that's really easily breakable, and just be you know, like have like. Uh, warp class 0 0.01 or something stupid like that and make it a, make an intentionally breakable mug <laughs> yeah like so they it's... have to keep buying merch off you <laughs> uh, all right bye ranger thank you so much you are amazing i'll see you next time have a good evening yeah you said evening Oh, everything just went to red, oh god. Yeah, and, I changed something. <laughs> <laughs> and soon TM, Razumu. We'll see. I, I need to shave. That's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I thought I got away from it. I thought I did. <laughs> I was this close. <laughs> For anyone wondering who doesn't get the reference, so um, when I uh, did an Arma unit, they went by if you had two names, um, your first, um, your first name and then the second. So I got Simulator S. Dot Haven. So uh, you take those together, and uh, you get Shaven. So, and it's stuck with me ever since. There is no escape. There is no. We're going to finally so try and fix what this. What do you yeah. think about just, just removing the, the sidewards thrusters on here and just leaving the front ones? I'm, a, I'm totally fine with that. I think Whatever. that would probably work a little bit easier. Yeah. Whatever you think would make it just better, because... Um, like, I mean, we don't have to put too much focus on that area right now. So, would you find people be able to go into test mode so I can see if I can get in? Uh, yes. Are you ready, Potato? Oops. Yep, I'm good. Right. Test mode has been booted. Yes, needs more batteries, of course. But hey, now that these are actually in, um, when we charge up the uh, they fall out. They like don't. The no. And we can charge up the uh, plasma thrusters and everything in an instant. I think it's right off the bat. Just got crashed again when I entered. Yeah, what, so one thing Potato and I have had to do is start in with nothing, then uh, load in the Nebulon, then go into the test editor, and then come back. Are you willing to do that? I am willing to do that. Okay. And yes. Uh, let me let me load in first before you do any of that. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll let you know when I've restarted my game. All right. I'll um. I'll save and then I'll exit and restart it. Okay. I'm just looking um, at the stream. So you got that bottom corner done. That's that's impressive. Yeah. Uh, I've just been uh, trying to beam it up so that it'll not fall apart. Yes. Hardest part. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All, all the little corners are kind of a pain, but uh, but yeah, making oh. progress. Well, the, those little triangles, um, the, those little triangular holes. I'm hoping to poke um, uh, rangefinder beams through them for asteroid points. Oh. oh, 
I see. Yeah, you could definitely do that. There's enough hole there. Whether there's enough um, like actual space. Um, all right, I'm I'm in the game yeah. now. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, exit and then go back in. Yeah, there is actually a, a space back behind that. Um, I, I I tried to build kind of a, a second wall back there to to hide it, but uh, we could remove that, and there'll be plenty of space for range finders or whatever you yeah. want to throw in there. Yeah. All right, and I just started the group editor, so let me know when you guys are in. Okay. And um, yeah, so I, man, Arma roleplay that that mm. was Arma is still well. Okay, if you add up the starbase hours, the starbase hours are supreme. But other than that, it's my most played game. To me, it's my second most played game. Yeah. It, oh. Yeah. It's so much fun. I think. Starbase is my yeah. second at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. With Space Engineers is first. Ah, there you uh, go. I think, I think I'm well over a thousand for that. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah geez. All right. Let's see if okay. this loads in. All right. Come on, come on. I, I really, I really wanted to do like a, um, uh, like a Halo roleplay server. Oh yeah. I downloaded the mod and played around of it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm loaded in. Alright, can yeah, you guys yeah, select I can stuff? Uh, nope. Okay, alright. No, it, it shows on your screen that I did select stuff, but yeah, that's <laughs> not on mine. That is the classic glitch. And yeah, Space Engineers is an absolute classic. The, so. Um, are any of you guys familiar with Battlestar Galactica? Um, a little bit. Okay. Um, it's on my list of things to watch. Okay, okay, cool. Because So, one thing I did in Space Engineers, which I wish we could do here, is so there's the fighters in Battlestar Galactica, the Vipers, and what I did is on my Space Engineers ship, I made essentially very specific gravity wells, and ships with toggleable mass extenders. And what you would yeah. do is you would load a fighter into this tube, the launch tube, turn on the and mass shoot. extenders, and it would it launch you. Down. Yeah. That's and cool. That's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, it was so much fun. And hey, welcome yeah. to the like stream. I, I did, um... Mm hmm I did, um... Was it? I, I got Space Engineers when it first came out, and uh, was playing it on and off for years. But yeah, I just. Uh... <laughs> Tato, are you yeah, in? I, I, I think. Um, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, in. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I think talking. when Starbase got when Starbase got released, I actually stopped playing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just like yeah, no, nah, there's something better coming, and just stopped. <laughs> it really is though. Yeah, and yeah, I'm I'm always so happy to see you guys come from YouTube and see your first streams. It's always nice to interact with you guys. You know, a, a fresh face every time. But yeah, I I think once uh, you know we get a lot of features, this game will 100%. I mean, okay, in my opinion, it is already better than Space Engineers. But like, once we get um, a couple more things, oh yeah, Chef's Kiss. Moi. Yeah, the, the game kicks me out, so... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll, look, I'll try going in. Like, it loaded before, so we'll see if it'll mm. let me in. Okay. Or it crash my game. Uh, so I'm wondering if there's anything I can... If, like, if... Because, like... I need to upgrade my RAM or something, and it's just not processing it. I think it honestly is just the game. Um, I dropped my texture uh, resolution down to low, but I, I'm not sure it did anything. Yeah. Well, it just crashed my game when I tried to load in that time, so that's great. Well, yeah, that's you're good. Let's disable super whatever that is. The anti-aliasing. All right, that should make things a little bit better. Oh. And you guys know what I'm so jealous of? So, my um, my family, so uh, my father works from home. So, um, you know, he needs 
fast internet. And he's a tech guy, I'm a tech guy, so we love to have fast internet. Well, you know, he, he chose um, when I go away to college to upgrade to gigabit fiber internet. So I, I really want to go back home <laughs> just for the gigabit fiber. I was going to say, what, what, what does that mean for someone who has Stone Age internet? So, um, um fast. Like, yes. you can download. Oh, man. Like, hold on. Let me see. How fast to download? What do you consider a large game? Like, GTA 5? Uh, yep. That All took right. me uh, uh, nine hours to download. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's say 60 gigabytes. All right. How long? Ah, here we go. Um, ah, I need the... Do you want to try entering test mode again? Here we go. It load, like, yeah, let's try it. Sorry to hold up the stream. You're good. <laughs> All right, so let's say it's 60 gigabytes, a download speed of one gigabit per second. Um, the... One gig a second? Yeah, a gigabit ethernet. Or, well, it's not gigabytes, it's gigabits. But, um, so to download GTA 5, um, it will take eight minutes. Yeah, Jesus, that's, um... Yeah. That's crazy. Um, yeah. So the ship hasn't loaded in yet, but I mean. Okay. Do we want to try? Looks good for me. And, and yeah, hey. Yeah, I just realized I'm was through a wall, so I'm gonna yeah. stand here. I, yeah. See, it really helps to have the fast internet for me because you know the streaming and stuff. But like once I get, because I want to bring my actual main PC here, so that we can have, you know quality streams and all that yeah. and the ship has come a long way i'm so happy <laughs> mm, teamwork makes the dream work mm -hmm. oh oh yes sprocko is in all right the gang's all screen. here and my computer just blue screens and just <laughs> <laughs> no i've actually had issues with that this laptop blue so, yeah this is why i want to yeah. get my main PC back because this laptop blue screens several times a week. <laughs> um, oh no! Yeah. Wow. So if you ever disappear off stream suddenly, you know it's happened. Yeah. Oh, and you know, I think, you know, it could be the reason that the stream is kind of suffering occasionally is thermal throttling. Uh, oh. So, so here, let's just turn it on cooler boost. Do oh you yeah, have one of those uh, those fan table things that you just yeah. So I've got it on a, a stand essentially. Here, I can just send my setup. Hold on. And um, just run it under a cold tap. That'll cool it down. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> But, um, yeah, so I left my mouse pad at my friend's place, so I'm gonna have to get the mouse pad. But, um, like, um, my laptop's on a stand that has, like, some fans underneath it, which help, but it's still, like, it's a laptop. Mm -hmm. so this is what I was gonna fix. Um, how do we do that over here? Ah, I see. And we did something like this. All right, here we go. Don't worry, Razu. Someday, someday you will. I believe. It's it's yeah. Fast internet is nice to have. Ah. 
I, I wish it was just generally faster for everybody. Ah, shakes fist angrily at the FCC. Do you see that uh, they uh, they landed a huge cable across the Atlantic? Oh, a new one. Yeah, Google landed this uh, transatlantic cable this week. Oh. Uh, so I think it. I think if I remember correctly, it's from New York and to France. Okay. I think. As long as um, you know, sharks don't start chewing on it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> First they're after our legs, now they're after our internet. Ah, laser shark moment. <laughs> Doctor Evil getting involved. Questionable beams, check. We should... Oh, uh, that would be... Okay, hear me out. Simulator Haven, stream bingo. Stream bingo. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, makes a question... Like, the things can be like, makes a questionable beam. Um, like, hits his head on the desk. Um, gets uh, traumatized by looking at a battery. Um, you know, and says like certain phrases that I say, you know, stuff like that, and then make bingo yeah. out of it. So it's bingo, but the Vietnam flashback edition. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Sharko's <laughs> just like, so, this is why we can't have nice things. Right. So. <laughs> how, how, how to start a feud. <laughs> Mind you, that, that would be Monopoly. We play online Monopoly yeah. together. We could, or Risk. Oh, that would be deadly. Oh, Risk. Oh, Risk. <laughs> I still got photos of my phone from Risk games because we, you know, we'd we'd play mm. it and then like take a photo and pack it all up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was it was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Sounds like fun though. Yeah, I play, play it with my um, my housemates. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just doing more legitimate beaming. Oh god. It's no. the floor of the main of the main area. Ah, okay. Oh are you oh are you I, removing I those? That, yeah. I got rid of the random the random thing. <laughs> Um, and now I'm adding more random things to appease, you know, mm. whatever, oh. whatever, whatever we use for a god in this universe. <laughs> the bolt god? Yeah, the bolt god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cookie suggested another great thing for the bingo. Um, a durability error in chat. <laughs> the ship has the durability chat, error. Chat is a durability error. Literally. <laughs> okay you know half of this see the thing about streaming right is that you get to the point because like it feels like you have to talk all the time to keep that retention it gets to the point where you're like you know flying on autopilot and you know Sprocko you're doing the plating in the front and then Potato you're doing the plating in the back and I'm just here like Hmm, yes, things. What to do, what to do. Because, like, if I go ahead with something, we might, um, like, uh, how do I put this? Like, get too close to the sun, crash into the limit of, uh, the bolt limit or voxels before yeah. the exterior is done. Let's see. Everything well, that's half the fun, though. That's true. Look, I, I was doing a little bit of interior stuff, but um, mm -hmm. but yeah, the I don't know. I don't know if it's been mentioned that that uh, all our um, a text yellow currently. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll try these things. Actually, there's a bit of beaming I need to figure out over here. This is, we need a forty-eight by ninety-six. There we go. Here, I'll just do the plating that actually needs to be done, but it's kind of out of your way. 
That sounds... Yeah. No, that would be uh, a very productive. Sounds yeah. Like you. You mean what? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I didn't... Hmm? Were you saying something? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, all right. Um, when you're not sure if you hear fireworks or just something crashing <laughs> outside, just like, okay, this is fine. Oh, yeah, it fits perfectly. That is what we like to see. Yeah. Um, looks like I'm bugged out. Um, oh no. Can we go to test mode real quick? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. You know, it's kind of interesting because I guess you could say we kind of are pioneering the group editor. Because like, I imagine uh, that the errors uh, we're reporting are helping. Yeah. Maybe. And I know the devs watch my videos and streams, so... Do they? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, you know, hopefully um, my feedback or, or, you know, kind of testing here helps them. I, I do shit talk the game a little bit from time to time, but I, ho I hope it's respectful enough, because... Well, constructive cool criticism, right. yeah. Everything's budgeted in for me. Alright. Yep, we're good. Bonk, hit in the button. Let's see what happens. Kaboom, the server oh. explodes. Yeah, jeez. Or my laptop, for that matter. Yeah, a, health a healthy amount. You know, it keeps things interesting. I don't know, I think, I think the fact that oh, it's a long loading time. Oh, mm. it works, sweet. Uh, there we go. The, I think the fact that you know the ship's getting so big that we're having trouble loading it in um, mm -hmm. is that usually a sign of <laughs> weirdness to come. Yeah, I'm just glad it gets stable like once we get it in game. Because like I remember we kind of had some similar issues with the uh, the other the older Nebulon, and once we got it in game, it was stable. Yeah, well, I mean, the soft crashes were numerous, but... I'm actually going to do this. Plates, basic plates, 96 by 96. And, um... <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> they're just waiting for the day. The devs are just hiding in the background. They're like, Sim, we know you're going to do it someday. Just, you better watch it. <laughs> nah, I... I'd like to think I'm on pretty good standing. <laughs> I'd hope. They're just waiting. Yeah. They keep waiting for an excuse. Soon, TM. Oh, a classic, uh, that is a classic meme right there. Beams are beams. <laughs> This whole underside area is going to be so much fun to plate with these angled uh, frontal sections. Legit, just like whack something on top of it? Or I, I honestly, like, yeah, I think we'll just have to put plates over it and call it a day. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> eh, close enough. Throw some uh, decorative grates on it or something to make it look Ooh. like venting. Yeah. yeah, get a little fancy. <laughs> yeah, greebling. The the greebling will be nice. Okay. I just had to Google Greebly. Ah, yes, but hey, now you know. It's actually kind of interesting. Gonna, I'm just going to remain ignorant. Just 
Um, so Griebling, I think it was actually invented for Star Wars. Um, but so, you know how like, um, you know the Super Star Destroyer, right? In Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, Griebling is kind of like having that texture all over it that like with the little bump outs the um like all all of that texture oh it was invented for the trench run yeah like having all of those little bump outs and bits that aren't necessarily useful but they are visually they break up the image so it creates the idea in your head that it's kind of got a lot to it yeah they described this design method as guts on the outside. Hmm. That's, that's, that's usually not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> that usually means something's gone horribly wrong. I mean, I guess whatever floats their boat. Whatever floats your tauntaun, man. <laughs> I miss that. Rocco with his big brain. Uh, and it when you you forget that you've you know you had something and you go to select a beam and it just like places a, a beam or whatever you had in your selection just like randomly in the distance. You're like, what's yeah. going on? And you got like six. Like, ah. <laughs> Why are you like, doing what? this? Huh? <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That's what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> like, bruh, come on, please. Let me live. Will this... will this function? Thanks. It remains to be that seen. The question of the hour, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that, that'll actually work pretty well, that connector right there. Man, I wish the reconstruction machine wasn't so voxel heavy. That sucker's gonna get us, I think. Because ideally, we want to have, you know, a med bay in the front and back. So we have one in the front and one in the back. But, um... I'm not sure if, uh... I, I think we can sacrifice a, a warp core. Yeah. If we need, we can definitely do that. Probably sacrifice the one in the front, to be fair. Because I think that kind of just takes up space. And we can put in, like, extra stuff there if we want yeah and I don't replace it with the um the machine the machine yeah. yeah unless we want to have the machine like up top so that way it's not damaged in an explosion and also um looking at um you know their future release notes if they mm. end up releasing their um the um ball turret they should have plans for that oh that yeah sick for this ship. The ball turret would be perfect for this ship. Like, it would be... I think it's exactly what we need for this. Hey, thanks for the follow, Havoc. Appreciate it. But, yeah, the ball turret would provide so much protection. It's like, we've been needing something like that for so long that I think that'll finally do, do the trick. Um... Okay, cool. That overlaps a little bit, I think. Hmm. Let's see, is it all green? Please be green. I love how long it takes for the durability tool to load the ship, too. <laughs> it's just like, oh. Peter says no. Yeah. Aw. Ah! Yeah, what, welcome to the stream, Havoc. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's nice to see YouTube people here. It, it's always kind of interesting to me that, you know, now that I have the YouTube people, they don't find my YouTube through my Twitch, they find my Twitch through my YouTube. Okay. Let's see. 
You know, this is gonna be interesting finishing like the area on the front where the plasma thruster is. Around there. I think I'm just gonna make it a box for now. I think that might be a good temporary solution. Can build some fins off of it or something later. Yeah, we can make it look fun. And yeah, we can put triangles in the corners and everything and make it look nice. I kind of want to just get it so it's covered for now. So we're not completely just chilling. Oh, it's gonna that's gonna be a little annoying. What we'll do is this. Yeah, triangles in the corners would be handy. I think we'll do that. What on earth? Why are these purple? I don't understand. <laughs> and, uh, oh, not the batteries. Why? Why? What did the batteries ever... Okay, well, I was going to say, what did the batteries ever do to us, but... Everything. Yeah. <laughs> They've ruined it all. Hmm. And then we'll just take this. Yeah. I, I, I take my uh, headphone off and I just hear like the insane whirring of the fans. Oh. You love to hear it. Okay, and that should all be connected. It's not all connected. That's tough. We can make that connected. Our voxel volume shouldn't be too bad. Um, oh, come on, recover please. Oh no, there we go. Do you guys ever get freezes where it like just freezes and once um, it unfreezes you, it puts you looking in like a random direction up or down? Yes. Uh, no. I haven't oh. had that actually. Okay. Well, I guess yeah, it just I get that hot a lot. Oh, I guess it just happens to Potato and I, but yeah, that's wonky. And, uh, no, oh, thanks for the follow, Sandman. Appreciate that. Alright, we can do something like this. That'll provide a little bit of texture. Alright, here we go. Do, do, do. I, I, I always love this like track because it's got the astronaut like audio in it. it. I don't know, it's an interesting vibe. Jeez, every time I add stuff to this, I just think of how much of a chunker this is. <laughs> like this, this is a chunky ship. We haven't even like kind of cheated and just done it with ore crates because I know people reach max ore crates yeah. all the time. It's no, like thousand ore crates. and it's like and they're, they're really bolt heavy too. Yeah, funnily enough, it's like not even that many crates that you need to like fully fill up the area. But like with this, we're actually using it and making all the interior space, which is crazy. Also, it appears my mouse is about to die, so I am going to grab the charging kill word. <laughs> so, it's the Sparko and Potato Show for the next couple uh, seconds, I guess. Hi guys, welcome to my show. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all Potato Show now. It's all my show now. Totally. Um, How do I... Oh, boy. How... A 
questions, just start slapping plates on and, and pray. Oh <laughs> my god. Is your brain hurting too? My brain, my brain always hurts. Sometimes more than usual. All right, I've returned. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how I can make this symmetrical. Oh god! With the other side, like you just really yeah. no measuring points. It's I'm uh, just gonna have to guesstimate. Yeah, one thing that I do to try and make it symmetrical is I'll pick a point. Um, oh, see you, Razu. Have a good evening. And thank you, Havoc. Um, but so what I'll do, since there isn't really a point of reference, so like, um, I guess what I would pick for yours is so we've got these right here. You see where those are? What you can do is, so pick like, all right, so you see this corner beam, the 45 degree, and then put a beam um, along here like beams along here and count out exactly like how much it is on either side like so it, it, it's like a 384 and a 48 on this side so like you do that from the original and you just copy it over here and bada bing bada boom ghetto symmetry of that Start. ghetto symmetry mm -hmm. keeps the ships flying let me tell you Yep, something like that. Yep. And so I think in our reference material, this part is supposed to kind of like come along. So there's supposed to be another triangle here. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> triangles. Triangles. Alright, come on. All right. Let's see how that is. Give it a quick refresh. Is there is there a part where we pick your brain? Oh, is this the part? I mean, you can. Yeah, I'm like I'm always open to questions. Like if, if you have any questions, yeah, just ask. I'm totally willing to answer anything. Within reason. I feel like I need to add that on for some people. <laughs> it is the internet, yes. It is, yeah. gonna be a pain uh, actually that was not as bad as I expected that's kind of nice um, that actually works pretty well um, what is the largest cargo ship that I've made um, probably the carbon 505 because that was about what was it, like 250 crates? Um, yeah, it was somewhere around 200 plus or 300, I think. Uh, it was a lot of crates, but that was probably the biggest cargo ship I've made. Now, I have been thinking of building like a dedicated hauler. So once we get like where we have to actually move items and like um, trading you do becomes, have to do that? well, Just it. okay, well yeah, but like more of a um, like you know it becomes a big, real big thing, and we want like a dedicated large ship for that. We can have that ship, 
plus um, transferring ores easily from station to station and it's not like a ship that's made to be a miner. Like that we've kind of just used. Vintage has a 1k cargo ship. I may have to check that out, but again, you know, I I do like making my own ships. So like That's that's that's, that's most of the fun of this game is yeah. your own ship. Yeah, so like at the moment I'd have to probably go with that. And um Do you know when the new ship repair shop will be available? I do not know. Um yeah, sadly it's I pretty far out on the horizon, I thought. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Sadly I don't have too much um like um it would be cool if the devs gave me inside looks at stuff, but I'm not privy to that. And uh, hey, freebie! You know, no ship is ever too ambitious. Like, not e if you hit the limit of the building budget, not even that. Like, that's you gotta go all the way. I don't go home. Yeah, like you know, I've got ships from CA that, like, you know, I never finished, and yeah, they were ambitious, but now they're starting to become feasible. So, like. Nothing is ever too ambitious. It's, it's just how long you're going to spend waiting for the technology, I suppose. And yeah, there's a couple things that are going to be a couple months out, which I'm a little sad about, but it is what it is. Um, what are your thoughts on the factory mag hollow thing? Um, is that the, like, where it displays the um, hologram and it's like, okay... Uh, like uh, it has a robot arm like fill in the blueprint is that what you are talking about like the automated kind of factory construction yeah um, oh, that's interesting um, but yeah I, I, I like it now it's gonna be a little interesting so the thing that um i don't know because like you know mass production is going to be a thing at some point it's just going to happen but with something like that i don't know how easily it's going to be able to integrate into like a mass production line if you kind of get what i'm trying to say um Because I really want to do mass production, but I just don't know how they're going to properly do it. Going to have to change the the market and the, uh, I mean, yeah. the benches, I, I understand, are just a temporary thing, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to be pretty pretty deep changes to make that work yeah i look forward to it but it's gonna gonna be a lot oh and your ship's just in too bad a state yeah i i hope they get the repair stuff soon ish but i it's yeah it's not gonna be for a while you're probably gonna have to leave the ship there for a bit of time before those features will be in and it does kind of suck because that pair shop will be really handy because I know like, you know, even some of my ships, they're not made to be repaired. Like the old Nebulon, like that had crawl spaces and stuff and that was easy to repair. But like making an easy to repair ship is difficult. It is very difficult. So kind of... I just... 
yeah, yeah. I just spent 20 hours redoing things because I found out there was an easier way to repair it later. So I um, had to redo everything. <laughs> yeah. Because of that. Um, and actually, Sim, you, uh, when you figured out, I think it was last stream, that uh, mm -hmm. placing um, hard um, hard points onto ducks makes them get power, I, um, mm -hmm. it changed my life. So I yeah. had to redo a bunch of stuff on my ship. Yeah. It's mind bending. They just, they just need to be like almost completely in line of it and it, it'll work. Yeah. Like, you know, close enough is one, the thing. Yeah, one beam's worth of contact and it seems to work. Less hmm. than that, it doesn't seem to work. Oh. Huh. I have to do some janky things. Um, speaking of janky things, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, attach these plates on this outer edge. Um, let me stop okay, lagging I for ran, a second. I ran a beam. Oh, it won't let me do things. I ran a beam down the um, side just so I can try and figure out what to do now. Oh, like to fill in the gap there? Yeah. Honestly, no, well, like even if it's no, just... just a plate. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, let's see. That beam, that actually looks like it would work, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the, the beam will work. It'll just have that little yellow end. Which, well, what we can know, do we is we can do the... Um... I thought the whole thing was going to be yellow, so I... Um... Yeah, we can do that. That's... Because it's, it's welded on your screen, just not for me. Oh. I was going to say, like, we can do the cheeky, put a 48 centimeter, and then it'll count as fully connected. Yeah. Let me... Um, that seems fully legit. And yeah, like <laughs> this game, the amount of hours, yeah, that works. The amount of hours you can lose, yeah, it, it's endless. Like most of my hours are just building ships and messing around with things and trying new ideas. All of the above. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, your, uh, your PC's that's tough. Hopefully in the future you can get it though. Are we able to go into test mode and back again? Yes. Uh, are you you my good? Controls are frozen. Yep. Potato? Yep. Cool. All right. Yep, good. 561 hours. Oof. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Like, and you lose track of time in this game too. Like, when you're trying something, just gone out the window, reduced to atoms. Yeah. Alright, now this whole part's in there, so that's some good armor, kind of closing up the center. Would have been more if you had CA. Yeah, I can imagine. Who needs a life? Yeah, exactly, when you have Starbase. It's kind of interesting to see the ship finally getting kind of enclosed. It, it's always a weird feeling. I just like how the how how, how heavy is this? Um, 15. one uh, fifteen mil. This is gonna be like, uh we're not gonna get a hundred meters a second out of this thing. Definitely not. More guns. <laughs> there More we go. DACA. More DACA. Yeah, we'll invest. Because it'll be so slow, we'll just invest in DACA. The, the DACA will propel it forward. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That would be pretty cool if they added in, like, endo recoil where you do um, actually fly backwards a bit if you shoot in space. Yeah. Or, like, rail just guns. A little bit. That would be interesting. Polar You've had Sonate. it. Oh, hey, um, they do, they do have rail guns, don't they? So, one, one is yeah. being built, isn't it? Flash, faulty, faulty or Flash? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's building a Rosinante. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally. It, 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 once it's done, I, I, I'm probably gonna have to buy one from him because. Mm. Yes. It yeah. It's oh man, love the expanse. They're great ships. And, and yeah. yeah, I have it. You, the ship editor is like a casino. You sink hours. 
Have you seen the guy on YouTube making a Millennium Falcon at the moment? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there was uh, somebody in our guild who's, uh, or named SOS, that's doing that too, I believe. Uh, I okay. think so, yeah. Or was that just in Sim Havens? I, I don't know, I get everything mixed up. There's there. a lot of places, yeah. No, it kicked me out. No. Might it be time for a uh, carrier yeah, command? Havoc. Hey, Havoc. There you are. Uh, yeah, I, if you guys are up for that. And, um, I haven't seen the new X Wing. If you have a picture of that, putting it in the Sim Haven. And yeah, we're we're pretty much at the normal time where we'd stop for stream. I'm not sure if it would, um, I think the Millennium Falcon was you, Havoc, but I'm not sure about the X-Wing. Why is there a new X-Wing? Uh, so... Borg cube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, I actually got a comment the other day about a Borg cube. Let me, let me find this comment. Because I was like, huh. Alright. Most recent. Here we go. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, oh yeah, Havoc, you, you were talking with them. Um, the, someone's having issues with their board cubes. They need bigger ship design areas and greater pipe and cable limits. Yeah. I mean, that hey. Doesn't surprise me, yeah. With Borg, you can go all in, and I mean, the ships are all about having redundancy, so I can see why they have, they're hitting their limits right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, at the moment, the biggest ships you can build are actually quite small, so. Yeah. Um, like, like, I mean, look at this. Like, this is, for Starbase, this is huge, but in terms of ships, like, it's pretty small yeah. I mean the, the, the question is going to be how how functional it'll, it'll be once it's done I mean, how many guns how many how fast it can go what can it, it carry for cargo etc you know yeah uh, I mean I, I guess the big problem right in the game right now is uh, if you want something functional it's it's best to go very bare bones um literally mm -hmm. just crates and engines and yeah that's going it. going um, for looks like in terms of most things isn't worth it except for the looks yeah. yep yeah it's exactly right yeah and oh that is a really cool x-wing uh razor wire put it in art on the simulator haven yeah that's a good looking x-wing yeah that came out really well yeah all right, so uh, Sprocko, do you want to wrap up what you're doing, and we could swap over to Carrier Command? Yep. Um, I just need to. All right. Play yeah. Board Take board your time. Here. But yeah, Take so. Take your time. We're watching you. Yeah. Take Take your time. Stream is focused on watching only you play. <laughs> I'm trying to get this beam up so I can't play it. Yeah. So here, here's the area Sprocko's working. <laughs> Like, you can't even call it an area. It's literally like a nook and cranny. It's so, it's so hard to get into anywhere. Yep. See, cubes are actually like, they're pretty decent to build in this game, but eh, nobody builds them because it's like, it's a cube. It's boring. Yeah. Well, like, a lot of the ships just end up becoming cubes anyway you know yeah like you know people will like oh the board cube i mean yeah I, no a board cube would be uh, is epic for this game like generally you know because when people say oh making a cube it's literally a flat cube but i hope those board cube people are actually doing like interesting stuff yeah, and like all the basic builds of people, like it's gonna be a cube. It's gonna be a cube. But like get the texture cubes, people. Yeah. 
like, you know, my first ship that I ever built was essentially a cube, but, you know, you graduate. My first ship's a cube with angles. Yeah, there you go. And the ice cube, just literally <laughs> all glass instead of plates. My god. That would be... That would be fun to, to just sit in, in this origin builder yeah. and just sit there and, and let people go, what the heck? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bra moment. And uh, hey, Clorix, welcome. It's been a while. Good to see you here. Uh, a round disc. Discs and Starbase, man. You know, I love rounded things in Starbase. It really makes me break down. Hmm. I've seen Nothing a like couple it. of uh, Starship Enterprises that that actually looked fairly decent. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have no idea how structurally good they are with that disc and then the engines, but yeah, but they look decent. Oh. Questions? I just... <laughs> string a string of cubes with wings yeah the easy build i mean it's supposed to be easy so like it lends itself to being able to do that and uh the borg sphere yeah i oh dear god you know i was thinking we could make um, a capital ship and have it be the death star that would be really funny <laughs> Like, because here's the thing: we need to figure out if, when we build, can do we build it like this? Uh, like, do we build capital ships like we do in the ship editor right now, or do we do it like, um, you know, station building? Because, like, if it's like this, then uh. literally what we could do is we could just get the 432 by 432s and put like groupings of them together, and then just have it. Like, a group is angled ever so slightly this way and make a giant sphere. Yeah. Uh, I don't ever want to build a, a ship entirely from scratch outside of this. Um, that sounds <laughs> scary. Yeah. Oh, Time consuming. God. And then trying to debug it afterwards, like... Yeah. Do it. it. Give it to me. <laughs> it could be rough. Huh? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna slap an engine on a stick and put a chair on it. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Pat, uh, you know, you it go. passes... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it at that, I think. Alright, we'll save it. I was gonna say it passes space DMV. Uh, space DMV, yay! Yeah. <laughs> I was always thinking we could do like a, uh, you know, a scripted like funny run through kind of deal. Like after we have like some of our ships and stuff, like just make like a comedy thing. Yeah. Just like, well, it's like yeah, fun. No, no, that, yeah. that would be fun. And yeah, it does look really good plated. Like I cannot wait to see this completely done and painted and everything. And. Mm. But yeah, so when you, if you turn on the center of mass tools, it looks a bit like, oh shit, we got a lot to do. Oh but, uh... yeah, there's a lot to connect, but and we got to bring the center of mass a little bit down, but that's not too bad. Wait, we can visualize frame integrity. Oh, that's just okay. Yeah, it's, uh. it's just all the tools that we used to have, but yeah, separate. And um, Havoc, yeah, we're actually working on that. I was I was actually going to contact you about that because I've got a couple people. We've got TIE Fighters um, lined up. We've got uh, a couple Rebellion frigates and just having a starship or a, a, a Star Wars starship fly together and have a convoy of Star Wars ships. Got to pull the origins. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah. Um, think of a star wars ship to build and join that convoy yeah yeah i mean you could do something like i guess quote unquote relatively simple like a uh, a wing or like a fighter in the star wars universe do a b wing Ooh, a b wing would Fold, be cool folding wings and everything oh 
if holding you things. We can do it, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's so your uh, your funeral. <laughs> yeah, my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the picture of the falcon under the Nebulon B. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. Yeah, I'm not sure we have enough space, but we can we can oh, try. It might because the bottom's flat and that. Shows. Yeah. So. It might fit. We'll have to try it. <laughs> the, the neb's not quite as long as it should be. Yeah. So. Um, alrighty, so. And we yeah, take a, carrier we're command. Carrier yeah, okay. so. Um, yeah, so here, we're 